Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So it is wash day. Actually, my only second wash day of the whole month. It is August 30th today and I was getting all my products together for today last night and I started to think about it and I was like, it's wild that this is only my second wash day in the entire month and the month is almost over. As a lot of you know, I was down with COVID for a good chunk of August. So I had my first wash day in a while, not too long ago. It was a rough one, especially the detangling portion. So I'll make sure to pop that video in the little eye up here for you to check that out if you haven't seen it already. But I mentioned that video that after I cleansed my hair, I cleansed it pretty well. When I was sick, my hair was sweating so much. My scalp sweats a lot anyway. And when I was running my fevers and all that fun stuff, my hair would sweat so badly overnight that I would wake up and it would be like damp all around like the perimeter. So that coupled with going so long in between washing my hair, I had a good amount of buildup when I first washed. And although my shampoo got the bulk of it, I mentioned in that video that I thought that a scalp scrub would really do me well. So that is what this video today is all about. I'm gonna be using the Tulsi Scalp Scrub from Sorenzo Beauty. And this is one of her spring summer products. So at the point that I'm filming this video, I think all the spring summer goodies are gone because she's going to be going into her fall release very soon. So if you're seeing this video in the future though, definitely check the Sorenzo Beauty website because if we're in the spring summer type of months when you happen to be watching, this product may be available. So 9 times out of 10, you're going to see Sorenzo Beauty linked below in my description box and so make sure to click that link whenever you shop. So this scalp scrub in particular is very, very fine. The granules of sugar are not all big and chunky, which can sometimes be be really hard to use because they're not able to exfoliate because they're just too big it almost looks like really fine granules of sand and the great thing about using sugar scrubs is that they dissolve anyway in the water so that's perfect because my hair naturally is so thick and dense and as I always say ridiculously prone to tangles I'm gonna be following up after the scrub with a very liquidy moisturizing shampoo that is I will always be sad about this. That is sadly not being made anymore. I'm gonna be using the Elosense Moisture Benefits shampoo. So I have quite a few Elosense products left in my stash, so I will be cherishing them for as long as I can. But this is the shampoo that I'm gonna be using. As you can see, it is very, very liquidy. This is actually one of my most detangling shampoos that I have. So because it's so liquidy, slippery, and also moisturizes and cleanses very well, it's gonna remove any little granules that don't dissolve fully and maybe get lost in my <laughs> mass of hair. Because I think even this time, it's been close to two weeks since I did my hair, so this is gonna be another interesting wash day for sure. The one symptom that still is persisting is that I am so, so tired lately. So putting off my hair has been even more of a thing. So even though the particular scrub that I'm gonna be using today might not be available right now, I'm noticing that a lot of companies are doing scalp scrubs lately and also I've seen a few recipes online you can make your own. Me personally, I'm not a DIY girl so I love a pre-made product but there are a lot of options out there if you don't have this one readily on hand. So I am of course going to be focusing on all parts of my scalp, but I noticed that in the front section, more so than any other, I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but I am noticing a lot of dead skin. Um, probably what is product build up right in this section, in the front more so than anywhere else. So I'm gonna make sure when I get to this front section that I'm really concentrating. are a great way to remove dead skin that's built up on your scalp as well as product buildup. Your follicles aren't encumbered with all that stuff kind of just like hanging out around them. Really helps relieve itching and also if you get that tightness in your scalp, I find that a nice scalp scrub really does the trick for that as well. So it's really awesome for a nice fresh start right at the source. I thoroughly detangled and rinsed at my pre-poo. It is on to using my scalp scrub. As I mentioned, this scrub is the finest of any that I've tried so far and it made it really nice to use. It's not irritating on my scalp, very gentle. That 
the application method to how I use the scrub kind of changed depending on the particular area. Some sections I could apply the scalp scrub directly on top of my hair and it wouldn't kind of fall off. For example, when you see that I'm using it on the top of my head, I could kind of just kind of plop it right on there and start to work it in. Other sections I found, for example, like right back here at the back section, it was easier if I coated my hands in the scrub and then applied it in an up and down motion with my fingers it was able to get to more surface area and it just felt like it was getting in there better and I don't usually do the apply in a circular motion method except for around the front of my hair because if I do it in other portions of my hair it lends to a lot of tangling so I found that just applying it with my fingers with that up and down motion did a really good job after I applied the scalp scrub, I applied my shampoo and really worked it in there so that not only could it do the job of cleansing, but it could also, again, get any little lost granules that my hair may have kind of absorbed and try to keep in there. So the shampoo did a really good job since it's so slippery and detangling on its own as well. This front section that I mentioned where I had the bulk of my dead skin and product buildup, I really want to focus in this area especially. This is where I can use that circular motion a little bit more so because the hair here is a bit finer so it doesn't tangle nearly as much as in other sections of my hair. And since the front is usually the part of your hair that you focus on the most during styling, I find that I use a lot of product there. So that's probably a big factor as to why I had a bit more noticeable product buildup than in other sections. making sure that I was really gentle with applying the product but the fact that it's those fine granules it just felt so good and relaxing on my scalp but at the same time making sure that I'm not being too harsh because that skin is very delicate but this did a great job of clearing out a lot of buildup I think this is the first scalp scrub I've done in oh, like a year so it's been a long long time now that I've cleared that out I feel like I've made the way for a nice clear healthy scalp and optimal hair growth which is awesome especially since now that we're getting into the fall season I'm going to be straightening my hair soon so I want to set my scalp and my hair up for success as much as I can going into that Another surprising benefit of this scalp scrub that I noticed after rinsing it out is that it almost felt like it, I don't want to say power washed, but kind of power buffed a little bit my hair overall because as I'm moving the shampoo down the strands of my hair, I'm also inadvertently moving the scalp scrub itself down there as well. And even if it's dissolved, I feel like the benefits of it were also apparent on my hair. My hair in general felt a lot cleaner than usual and it also felt a lot smoother. So it's almost like I removed some surface buildup from the mixture as well, which was an unexpected but very nice side effect. And again, using my claw hand on my scalp so that I can really get in there, did a great job. And as you can see here, I'm much more readily able to just plop the scrub on the top of my hair because it's a lot less difficult for it to kind of like fall down the drain and I'm sad because the product is gone. So it's a lot easier to actually stay on my hair and for me to work it in at this point. And after rinsing everything out, my hair was super smooth. lighting has issues right now so I'm outside with my wet hair which I normally wouldn't do right after cleansing but I wanted to show you guys my final results my scalp is so so clean and my roots feel so smooth they feel just like very slick and my camera is doing that thing where it cuts off and deletes my footage so we're in like crunch mode right now but my roots feel so so soft and slick which is something that I don't normally feel with my hair like a slickness but I definitely feel that so in addition to the sugar and the oil mixture this product also has 
awesome Ayurvedic ingredients and anytime I can get Ayurveda into my routine, I am totally for it. So it's got sugar, sunflower oil infused with Tulsi, Jamun, Bringari, Ashwagandha, palm oil, mango butter, coconut butter, flaxseed oil, vitamin E, and essential oil. So if you happen to see this during the spring and summer months at Sorenzo Beauty, definitely check it out. And again, remember to use my link down in the description box. Just click it anytime you shop with Sorenzo Beauty. That lets them know I sent you and it helps me out big time. But even if you can't get your hands on this, I definitely recommend trying a scalp scrub. It's a great way to remove hard to get to buildup that just cleansers and detoxes just can't remove. Something about that something about that physical exfoliant just really really works and my scalp and hair feel really nice. I don't know if you guys could see in my demo portion of the video, but as I was applying the shampoo to my scalp, I was moving it all the way down the length of my strands. So some of the scrub was also getting on my hair and I felt like it like did something for my hair as well. My hair feels really, really good and that shampoo in general is awesome. So the combo of the scrub and the shampoo, I think definitely set me up for success. Moving on to deep conditioning next. My scalp is nice and clean and it feels really, really refreshed but my camera is doing that weird mean error message again so I'm gonna go ahead and in this video if you guys have used a scalp scrub let me know what some of your favorites are what's been your experience if you like the video make sure to click that thumbs up it really helps my channel out and if you haven't subscribed already please do so as well that'd be awesome remember that I upload my videos usually every Friday but every now and again I will have a nice little bonus video so also click that bell to make sure you're enabled for all of the notifications so you find out anytime I upload to my channel thank you guys so much for watching I am going to jump in and continue with the rest of my wash day on a deep conditioning and I will see you in the next video take care guys bye